Hi, I'm Aima, and welcome back to one of my product showcase videos. In today's video, we're going to be testing this King Bolin BM520 battery system tester. In my last video, I did an unboxing of this uh, battery tester, so go check that out if you're interested. Uh, and in this video, we're going to actually use it on, our dad, on my dad's uh, Honda Civic, just to give you a taste of what it's like to use the battery tester. Okay. So this is how it comes, you know, it just comes with the alligator clips that you're supposed to hook up to your battery. So let's start with that. Okay. And then this goes, this one goes to the negative terminal. And it should just turn on. Gives us a few options. Check, waveform, playback, records, setup, and multimeter. I'll peel this off so you guys can see it without the glare a bit more. And we're going to just do a, a normal check on the battery. So it gives you options for voltage. In our case, we know that our uh, battery is a 12 volt battery. And there's a quick test option, but we're going to do an in-vehicle one so that we can test the battery. So battery test. So it says, please confirm that the engine is turned off, which it is. And we're going to do, you know, they have multiple options, but we're going to do a regular flooded battery test. Uh, and now it's asking for the battery type. In our case, I believe ours is a CCA and it has a, you know, it says cold, crank, cold cranking amps. So that's CCA. And right under here, we can actually see its specifications for the cold cranking amps right here. You can't see it that well, but it says 500. You can't see that extra zero under this bar, but it says 500. So we're going to set it to uh, 500 CCA. And uh, there we go. It tells us uh, <laughs> the battery health, which it says it's good. I know there's not, there's not a lot of fanfare, but it kind of just, just says it. Um, it says the... Uh, Voltage is 12.92 volts. Cold cranking, the CCA is actually 526. Um, I'm not sure what these acronyms mean actually. Okay, so now we're gonna test it on a bad battery. We believe this Optima right here is uh, defective. So let's hook it up. Okay, so I guess if it's uh, completely dead, you can't test it. <laughs> Although, that means, uh, I, I really want to see what it looks like when it's not testing an, a battery that's working perfectly like our battery. I want to see what the health reading shows. Okay, so even when we hook it up to a, the power bank using the USB cable, still not working. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm not sure why they have this uh, cable. We're going to look into the manual and let you know why. Okay, so apparently the, uh, the USB-C cable is just for transmitting data. You know, if you want to transmit the uh, waveform, for example, to a computer. But that's going to be it for this video. If we figure out a way to uh, make this work so that I can tell the health of this already dead or not working battery, we'll also do a video on it. And then we'll also do a video on how to test it on an alternator. There's also, there's like a few more features on this thing that we haven't even got to in this video. So we're gonna get a bit more use out of this, but for now that's gonna be it. Hopefully you got to see what uh, using this device is like. And uh, that's gonna be it. I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, your comment, subscribe. I've got other videos on Ayman, especially the videos on this battery tester, and I'll see you in the next one. For now, I'm Ayman, and signing out. Peace.